and we bring you our second match very, very shortly, which will be the men's doubles finals. And just confirmation there on the score sheet that the mixed doubles winners after 47 minutes with Chan and Go defending their title of last year. So now it's another Go, Go Vishem and Tan Wee Kiong from Malaysia. Such good double specialists, aren't they, the Malaysians? As top seeds, Go and Tan take on Lu Ching Yao and Yan Po Han of Chinese Taipei as the fifth seeds who fought their way through the bottom of the draw. That's the draw sheet on their route through. You can see them in the quarterfinals, Go and Tan superseded Ong and Teo of Malaysia as the sixth seeds. Fairly uh, emphatic march well, through the draw for the top seats. And, uh, well, for Lu and Yang, they were really, really tested heavily in the semi-finals. It went the distance, three minutes shy of an hour. Here are the top seeds making their way to centre stage. It's Tan Wee Kiong leading the way. have been untroubled all week and blemish free versus 29 year olds Yao and Yang Po Han from Chinese Taipei and here come the Chinese Taipei team Lu Ching Yao and Yang Po Han Three times semi-finalists last year. Korean Masters, Macau Open and Chinese Taipei Open as well. Quarter final showing for these two in the Indonesian Masters as well. Ranked currently 26th Shanghai. in the world. We're up against the world number 14 team so in judged. yellow and blue. First meeting between these two teams as you can see. So just a little housekeeping then, the spin of the coin, ends will be decided, and then we can commence the warm-up. Bags changed into the opposing kit boxes, and they've got to keep the straps inside the box. Don't want that interfering with the visual on the sponsors' names, understandably. Pay a lot for that advertising. Govi Shem, 29 years old been uh, world number one with his partner today. They've been right to the pinnacle of the game. Olympic silver medalists are uh, among the best doubles pairs in Malaysian history. Former Super Series Finals or year-end finals champions of 2016. These two. Tan Wee Kiong just from Johor and Malaysia. Left badminton Malaysia last month to go independent, as did the mixed doubles team that we just uh, watched win, yet to sign sponsors to secure finances, if you will. But defending a semi-final showing here last year. That's their route through, as you can see, fairly emphatic, yet to drop a game. They really were munching through any opponents in efficient style. Ready to play. Lu Ching Yao, the 25-year-old from Taichung and Chinese Taipei. And his 24-year-old partner, Yang Po Yan. And you can see, they've had a little bit of a bumpy ride to get to this uh, final spot. 
taken the distance in their last three consecutive matches, but showing a lot of character, the fifth seat. Really good win over Go and Nur, the eighth seats from Malaysia in the round prior. Indonesian umpire and Thai service judge. So the last minute revision is completed and we're ready to roll. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, thank you and welcome to Malaysia. And on my left, Lu Jingyao and Yang Bohan, Chinese Taipei. And we give to serve to Yang Bohan, level. Men's doubles Play. final. Tan Wee Kyung to get us underway. One, One lap. lap. Lefty righty combination, these two. Flat hard drives, the nature of men's doubles from the off. Lou, the right-hander here, far taller than his partner in crime. <laughs> it's a great get from the lefty, to no avail in the end, though. The Malaysian staying on the front foot. It's rather like they've been on energy drinks all night, isn't it? They're absolutely <laughs> wired, these two. Lou there jumping around in celebration. High octane start to this uh, men's doubles final, as anticipated. Oh. Terrific return from Tan Wee Kyung. Brilliant. He has got the radar on. That was fabulously quick. Lightning quick from Jan Pohan there. Found the space on the court and Go and Tan utterly surprised. Well, of course, understandably, both teams having won four matches to get here are absolutely wired and seeing the shuttle enormously big right now. It's been a sparkling start from both and very, very close affair. And, of course, uh, Gore and Tan having embarked on a career independent of the national setup, they'll want to start 2019 on a sound footing. But these two are bouncing around loaded with energy. It's easy to overcook that, though, sometimes. Oh, 
five. Which is a break of the string there for uh, Lu, who has to change his racket. But he won't mind too much. They secured the point after all. Deadlock opening game. Five Go! points all. Well, the score graphic at the moment has uh, sort of parity written on it about the, the, the way that the points are going. Neither team able to break away for any more than a one-point lead at any stage in this opener. It's been really, really close throughout so far. Now, for the first time, it is indeed a two-point lead for the top seeds. Can they run with this momentum? Again, terrific uh, return of serve from Yang Pohan. Six, six, seven. Seven. Oh. Oh. Body blow right there. <laughs> that was a stinger right on the chest. A little present from Tan Tuyang. He's okay though. They're pretty hardy, these badminton players. Of course, it's all about getting the shuttle down as soon as possible. Seven. Getting it below Nine. the opponent's tape so they can't take advantage. <laughs> yep. Generally in men's doubles, any liftaways normally get punished. Ten, ten, seven. Seven. Even at the tougher end that the yellow team are at right now. <laughs> Drift on coming. <laughs> A wince after that return mistake from Tan. Serve mistake, beg your pardon. Couple of errors already for the Malaysians in that regard. Well done. Kind of half smash there from Go. 11, 11, so 11-8, they lead after just six minutes played, the top seats. Chinese Taipei with work to do. This event, event was won last year by the Thai pairing of Tin Isrianet and Kitisak Namdash. They lost out earlier in the tournament. Bold and insistent. 
was Tan there. 20 nicely together. No, no. Have broken down the top 10 door. Once before, they were ranked at 10 in November of 2017, the Taipei pairing. So they know what it takes. And as you can see, they're trying desperately to sort of ramp up their energy. You know, Ching Yao with the powerful <coughs> smash. And the sort of tallest man on court, complementing very, very well with the only lefty in Yang Po Han at the back of your picture right now. So trailing by three points then, the team from Chinese Taipei. A ah, terrific flick serve from Go Bishem. And the young 24-year-old caught napping there. He didn't see that one coming. So quick to move forward. His body weight was obviously going that way. Six, six, eleven, eleven. Super quick from Yang. So runner points comes at uh, stops at three for the top seeds. Go and tan there on a little bit of a tear, but denied any further damage. So four points adrift for Lu and Yang. First meeting between these two teams. I got a little lucky there, didn't it? Just uh, drizzled off the net cord. Good power from. Go Vishem. Touch there from Tan on Tan the way Tan through. Tan Umpire very alert to that. But they've been more frugal in error generally. A little bit more watertight throughout. Seven game points for Go and Tan. The former world number ones. Secure the opening game then, 21 points to 13, after 13 minutes played. Well, they've been pretty clinical and efficient from the off, haven't they? Winning at the difficult end as well, that always bodes well. And Building on that confidence they've engineered throughout the tournament as their coaches. Uh, indeed, teammates. 
Let's see what they're through, what they've seen. Having a come down briefly off that high of celebration. Chan Kun-Sun and Go Liu Ying. This is really, really good to see. Well, he's all smiles, isn't he, Lu Ching Yao? They've done really well just to get here. This is a great effort from the fifth seeds. Not a final in sight last year. They were denied in three semi-finals last season, but this time going one better at the start of the year. <laughs> Trying to really build a good platform moving forwards into 2019. Both these teams will want to bottle what they've done here and take it on to the Malaysian Masters. There's no doubting that, but it'd be nice to finish the spoils of glory these two a game to the good one foot on the gold medal podium Fended off one body blow, but not the second. They are persistent, the Malaysians, aren't they? Once they're on that front foot, it's tough to deny them the attack. Super. It was the cross smash that did the damage. There's a sense of calm about these two, isn't there? Govi Shamantan with Kyung. It seems like they kind of know something we don't, and that smacks of their quality as former world number ones in March 2017. Well played. This was really good play from Lu Qingyao. Serve well long from Yao. Interesting, we were saying how this kind of sets precedent and sets you up for the rest of the year. Well, this is exactly what happened last year as a semi final showing for the top seeds here. Set them up nicely for a runner up effort in the Malaysian Masters the following week. Four. Established names, busy honing their skills at the uh, ongoing Premier Badminton League at the moment. That's why I'm missing some of the top shuttlers. Uh, with two 500 level events lined up for what is to be a very busy January. A lot of the big stars have taken a rest this week. They'll be back to next week at the Malaysian Masters. But we've still had very strong fields across all five events here.
Well, they denied their opponents and, and keeping them at arm's length really well, the Malaysians, right now. Look at that. That's a terrific return. And uh, Oh, that's big. Big clunky smash from Govishem there. Yeah, so in the opening game, the team in red from Chinese Taipei had only managed to engineer a run of two consecutive points. There were a number of them, but no more than that. And the same so far in game two. And in both games, there's been runs of three for the top team. Top seeds, I should say. Yeah, they're always dominating, aren't they? Getting on the front foot very quickly and seizing the attack early in the rally, the Malaysians. And once they are on that front foot, it's tough to deny them points. Despite a pretty good defence from Lu and Yang. Well done. It really is a case of little and large between Lu Ching Yao and Yang Po Han. Big uh, disparity in height between the two of them, but they complement each other really, really well. This fella, head and shoulders above his partner in stature, but uh, don't want to be shortest. Three in a row then for the underdogs. That is a heavy smash. Straight smash at that from Govi Shem. And again, the default setting on the face of Lu Ching Yao, the lovely warming smile. Creditably, they've engineered a run of three in this game. But these two just so cute tactically, so aware, able to burst their run of points. So 11-8 again, the Malaysian duo as an exact mirror of the scoring in the opening game. They head to the turn. After 22 minutes played, looking very secure, the top seeds go on tan right now. Everything that they do has had sort of a sort of easy precision about it and real accuracy from both teams, Never to be fair, but particularly the top seeds have just had a little bit more on most of the shots that they're executing here. Tallest man on court there, just overpressing. And again, the generous smile. But uh, these two, not too keen to give much back to that smile. That's really alert from Yang Po Han. Uh, 
三分放火。A little too greedy with his backhand cross block there, just trying to relive the situation and shadow swing the correct to uh, set his mind straight. Oh, that is a brilliant reflexive block back into the open court. Just taking evasive action, but luckily he happened to have his racket just in the right place to see it again. Look at that. <laughs> Terrific reflexes from the left hander, Yang Po Han. Able quite to back it up. Service on 13, 11. 11. Yeah. So assured around the net. 14, 10, we 11. 11. He's up there, he's tough to dispatch. A lot of zing off his racket on those shots. So a run of three points for the Malaysians in response to a recent run of three points from the Chinese Taipei athletes. seen so often on our TV screens over the years, Tan Hui Kiong coming out on top in that front court with a sort of nonchalant ease. They just seem to be better at living at a slightly higher tempo with more consistency today anyhow. There's their support camp, the mixed doubles winners who have come on court to assist their compatriots in their campaign to get a, another title for the Malaysians. Oh! Oh! Both seven, teams seven, eleven, eleven. independent pro athletes now have broken away from the comfort of the badminton Malaysian national team. Service over. Twelve, seven, seventeen. Super play, the telling power of Go Shem from the backcourt has really been stand out this match. Taking no prisoners here. And as hard as Lu Ching Yao tried, unable quite to control this one. It was a gallant attempt. And he has had fun out here. There's no denying that. Good to see. But you do sense that these two have been in the driving seat as they have been all tournament and now finally setting sail for home with a five point bolster
Strong arming his way through again, Govisham. He has been a bully today, really dictatorial. Match point, match point, After 29 minutes, the Malaysians, as top seeds, have seven championship points. Clever little flicker from the alert left-hander, Yang Po Han. But you do sense that it's a little too late. Two match points saved, five to go. Oh, that's, there we are, runner three. 16, 20. <laughs> Saving their best till last, I think that's what it's called. Four seven, seven, consecutive seven, points. Seven, seven. Must win points for Chinese Taipei to stay afloat here in Luanyang, and they've done so. So, fifth match point for Guantan. There it is, eventually they get it done. Bettering their semi-final showing last year, the former world number ones in Govishem and Tan Wikiong take the title. 21-13, 21-14 in 31 minutes. It's been a terrific standout week for the world number 14s. And they were dictatorial throughout the men's final as they have been all week. Match won by Go Vizem and Tan Wee Kyung, 21-13, 21-17. We'll be speaking to our MC, David, who will ask a few questions right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with this year's champions from Malaysia, Got V Shem and Tat Wee Klong. Firstly, guys, congratulations. Another match, another two games to nil victory. Congratulations. So, the first tournament of 2019 and your first title. What does this mean for your confidence going into 2019? Um, first of all, we are very glad that we can win this tournament, especially it's the first tournament in 2019 and it means a lot for us because uh, this is almost two years ending our, you know, championship title run and we're happy with it. Yeah. So this was the first time that you played against these, this opponent. Was it difficult to prepare yourself for their playing style? Um, yes, yes, of, of course, uh, because they are rhythm, everything, skill, tactic is different, so we have to get ready more. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you very much. That was a fantastic performance. So now the players will get changed and prepare themselves for the award ceremony. So give one more big hand for our champions from Malaysia, Got V Shem and Tan We Klong. Yeah,
ทั้งสองขอเชิญทั้งสองทีมนะคะมาเลเซียแล้วก็ไทเปนะคะเพื่อที่จะมาเตรียมมอบรางวัลค่ะลาดี้และเจนท Welcome to the award presentation ceremony, the men's doubles Princess s i r i v a n a r i Thailand Masters 2019, presented by Toyota. So players just keen to jump on the medal podiums. Okay, can the runners up for both teams? Li Ching Yao and Yang Po Han. To present the award, Dr. Gong Sak Yadmani, the Governor of the Sport Authority of Thailand. Terrific week for Lu Ching Yao and Yang Po Han of Chinese Taipei as fifth seeds, coming runners up in the Thai Masters the Men's Doubles from event. Malaysia, Gok Di Shem and Tan Wei Klong. Govi Sham and Tanwi Kyung then just enjoying the moment. Going a couple of spots beyond last year's semi final showing. This time it'll sound sweet to their men's doubles champions of 2019 for the Princess Siri Vanavari Thai Masters. And with this effort, you'd imagine that the world number 14s will be knocking on the door of the top 10, having amassed quite a few world ranking points this week. And to present the prize week. money to our athletes, please welcome Mr. Michinobi Shugata, president of Toyota Motor Thailand Company Limited. And to present a souvenir to our athletes, please welcome Mrs. Kanchat p r u m p r a w o n g the managing director of Far East Speciality Company Limited. Please welcome back Kun Ying Patamali s a w a t r a g u n President of the Badminton Association of Thailand, and the Royal Patronage of His Majesty the King, to take a photo with our athletes. So the Malaysian top seeds then, crowned winners of the Thai Masters 2019. ขอขอบคุณคุณหญิงแล้วก็พี่เตอร์ทุกท่านนะคะนักกีฬาเดี๋ยวยืนรอสักครู่นะคะเดี๋ยวขอถ่ายภาพเฉพาะนักกีฬาสี่ท่านค่ะ So our next match coming up then the men's singles Lin Dan so esteemed so decorated his last title was the New Zealand Open last May he takes on the Singaporean qualifier Lo Kian Yu 